When it comes to the policy positions of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, well, the differences are like night and day. But there's another difference with respect to how each candidate carries his or herself. So BuzzFeed writes, Clinton, as one of the most scrutinized figures in politics, followed wherever she goes by the press and a band of secret service agents, faces particular challenge in this campaign of making herself accessible to the everydays as an everyday American herself. Now, she took part in a parade in Gorham, and BuzzFeed explains, reporters were free to walk in the street next to Clinton until about halfway down the route, when two campaign aides brought out a thick white rope, which they held like a clothesline in front of the candidate. Members of the press were forced to stay on the other side. Clinton moved quickly, and to keep up, reporters trotted backwards, rope at their waist. The idea, Aid said later, was to create a buffer, a space where the candidate could interact. So now here's some photos of that particular event. So now, the alleged reason why they wanted to have the ropes is because there was a guy and a couple of other protesters that were yelling at her the whole time and they were getting pretty rowdy, and here's a picture of the guy, so he just has a picture of Benghazi, so clearly he has a substantive argument because that's clearly a scandal. But anyways, regardless, I mean, she had protesters there and that was the reality of the situation, but I mean, if the rope was really a precautionary measure, then why didn't they rope off like protesters. Why did they rip off the press? I don't really understand um, the point of the buffer. But anyways, um, there was screaming from protesters. There was also screaming from her fans who were chanting, Hillary, Hillary as well. Um, and one of the Clinton aides said, I can't tell if that's booing or cheering because the crowd was so rowdy. Now they even tripped a little boy with the ropes <laughs> to which a Clinton aide said, oh, he looked all right. <laughs> well, I hope so. I mean, you're, you're trotting out these ropes and trying to cage off uh, reporters, what do you expect's going to happen? It's a parade. There's families there. There's little kids. So it wasn't really a well-thought-out idea, in my opinion. Now, so not a great time, right? It doesn't sound great if you have protesters following you around and whatnot. Well, when asked about it, um, and asked whether or not she had a good time, Hillary explains, yeah, it was fabulous. You know, I love parades. I love walking in parades. We got such a great response. A lot of enthusiasm and energy to celebrate the 4th of July. But it didn't really seem that way, though, Hillary. So again, this is one of those um, problems that I have with her. Is she being disingenuous? Probably so, because it didn't look like she was having a good time. Um, so this doesn't help Hillary's image. Now, she has multiple aides with her. There's a buffer zone, people carrying rope to rope off the press. It's just not a good look. And I don't think it really helps her with the everyday normal people, because us normal people who go to work every day, we don't have... Um, AIDS following us around to have like a buffer zone around people we don't like, you know what I mean? So I don't know if this is going to really help her with her image. So now for comparison, here's pictures of Bernie Sanders in large crowds of people. So he's got cameras right in his face. He has swarms of people around him. But do you see his rope? Me neither. Me neither. Now look, let's be 100% fair to Hillary Clinton. It is the case that the media attacks her, but not, you know, leftist media outlets such as uh, MSNBC and then CNN once in a while. And sure, but you want to know who else is attacked? Well, Bernie Sanders. They call him an extremist. They call him a looney tune. Greg Gutfeld recently called him a dope. I don't even know what that means, but they called him a dope. They called him a nut job. See, so he's attacked as well, but he's still personable. Now, to be even extra fair, to critique my own self, this is an ad hominem attack. It doesn't say anything about her policy position. It's not substantive, so all I'm critiquing her on is something that doesn't really matter in the end. But I do think that personability, I think I just made that word up, but <laughs> to be a personal candidate will help her in the national election. Now, Bernie is that personable candidate. Look, I don't hate Hillary Clinton. I think that before, she was ahead of her time as well, because back in the early 90s, she proposed universal health care, although people kind of burned, um, uh, they, they made like a scarecrow. There was a video that I watched of them burning Hillary Clinton for proposing this. So yeah, she was a progressive for her time, but she's since moved further and further to the right and is a centrist on some issues and a neocon on some issues, such as foreign policy. So again, to take away, this is not a substantive critique it's something that you can just disregard, and I fault myself for that. But I wanted to talk about it because I think that it really does show that you, you, you need to be 
personable. Like Bernie Sanders says, she needs to be right there with people. What she needs to do to be successful is get across that she's not just this rich oligarch who only wants to further the establishment's cause. She needs to actually act like a real human being. But she's not doing that. You, if you ask her a question, she'll be like, hmm, I think this kind of is the case. This is my answer. This isn't my answer. But when you ask Bernie Sanders, he'll just tell you. He doesn't have to wait two weeks to devise a perfect response with his aides. He's just being himself. He's speaking off the cuff. And that's what I think Hillary Clinton really needs to do, because right now she does have a personality deficit with respect to Bernie Sanders. So Hillary, you can't be doing things like this. I know, I know again, I feel bad for critiquing her on this because I'm not looking at her policy issues, but it's something that I really think is important. You've got to come across as one of the American people.